This is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. I am here to announce the existence of the Microsoft Community Contributor Reward Badge. This program has been sponsored by Microsoft Corporation in conjunction with Windows7Forums.com to award contributors among us who have helped to provide solid answers to our community. We previously announced this several months ago that we would be forming a partnership with Microsoft uh, to participate in the Community Contributor Program. Under the rules of the program, our top contributors would receive communication directly from the Microsoft Community Contributor Global Administrator, and we will be working with Microsoft to ensure that the process of distribution of this award is fair and promptly promoted. We are continuing to develop the programming necessary to ensure that the profile word is unique, or received, verifiable, and authentic. And that is still actually occurring today, even as the award has been given out. The award ensures that members who contribute a significant and unwavering amount of time on the website will be recognized officially for their accomplishments. I am very proud of this event. Award members will receive a badge on their profile indicating that they have received this award from Microsoft Corporation and the Windows 7 Forms community. As the process to unify our websites to accommodate Microsoft Windows 8 takes place, we will look forward to expanding and adjusting this program in direct communication with Microsoft. We firmly intend to use a merit-based system to give out these awards and have, as of yesterday, Here's how you can receive this award directly from Microsoft Corporation and the Windows7Forms.com team. First, create an account and maintain an outstanding record of helping others. This is an indispensable asset. Most of the people that visit forum websites, they do so looking for answers. And this is understandable since most people who visit forum websites need help. Uh, the so other 10% of those individuals actually are the ones that like giving answers and they're few and far between these days. Many of them get tired of the contributions that they make and taper off after a while and some of them just keep going forever and the ones that keep going forever uh, end up being recognized by Microsoft for the most valuable professional award for the community contributor badge, and the list goes on and on. All you need to do is become recognized by your peers and by the site administrators as an indispensable asset. Here at windowsandforums.com, we have worked out a situation with Microsoft where we are the ones who will uh, select the nominees for this award. We will then send that list to Microsoft they will sign off on it in most cases, sometimes uh, sketching someone out or adding someone in. And uh, they will, we will then announce that award uh, to the general public. Uh, we need the people who receive this award to maintain an activity level that does not diminish significantly over time. This is because we want you to be able to keep this type of badge and this type of community contributor uh, program access. You must follow our terms of service agreement and provide useful, outstanding community service. All of these things are not hard for someone that knows their way around computers. But how can someone who knows nothing about computers also contribute in such a manner? You can contribute using common sense approaches to solving complex information technology problems. You can check the Microsoft knowledge base. You can look in different areas and try to uh, link to that content if you think that you have a logical answer to a question that seems pretty simple. A lot of times we get very easy to answer questions and sometimes we get questions that just lack so much information, there's almost no way to solve it remotely. I'd like to take you into how far we have gone with this award. And you will notice I'm reading this off of our website verbatim uh, in some cases, but I'd also like to go into it a little bit further in just a moment. By receiving the award, you will eventually become listed on Microsoft's Community Contributor website, as well as our own award area. 
course, this award area is not exactly ready yet, but it will be, at least on our end. I'm not sure about Microsoft. I think they're a little bit further ahead on that. Implementing this program on Windows 7 forms has become one of our top priorities, and we will be working with Microsoft to provide future incentives like this in the future. While receiving the award will be rare, it will also come with the prestige of knowing that you have helped others on this website in an indispensable manner. We currently receive anywhere from 30 to 60 million page views annually. This is a significant number of individuals that you may be able to assist should they see your messages. Upon receiving the award, you will receive con contact directly from Microsoft Co Corporation and a member of the Windows 7 Forums team thanking you for your accomplishments. We are keen on rewarding members for, of our community who are truly prepared to make a difference for others. As Microsoft dictates the policies of this program and how it functions in conjunction with our website, this announcement is subject to change. I would like to thank, and I believe all of us here at the Windows 7 Forms team would like to thank Jason Tillman, who is the Microsoft Community Global Administrator, as well as Jake Gray, who is the former North American MVP lead, and Simon, who is now the current North American MVP lead, for making this award possible for our members. Please stay tuned for more details and thank you for participating in our community. Let me tell you a little bit more about who won this award and why. And this is the really cool part because these people are outstanding individuals and we have so many of them. It's very difficult for us to choose. Um, and you know, we can only nominate so many people at a time. Uh, we have Saltgrass, who has been on the site for quite a while. We have solicited him in the past and bugged him to be a moderator on our site because he is so good at answering questions and dealing with new members as well as old ones. He has refused to become a moderator on our site because he feels that any bias towards our site or against it might conflict with the answers to his questions. This is actually a literal response that he has given us. And the type of content that he has provided to people on the website is just awesome and fantastic, folks. I mean, he has been great. And when you go to his profile, I mean, you're gonna see something that's just outlandish. At first, you'll see that his name is now in green. He's listed as a Microsoft Community Contributor. And of course, we're refining this as time goes on. He's a certified Microsoft Community Contributor at Windows 7 Forums. And I want you to check this out because there's something special about Saltgrass as a user. His real name is Clark. He's from Dallas. And um, He's averaged 5.19 posts per day since 2009. That's more than I have. And I started the website, you know. Um, it's just unbelievable. He has 6,156 posts since uh, October 16th, 2009. And of course, our record keeping in that regard uh, does not disappear or go into the wind. It is legitimate. Um, more importantly, the content of his activity uh, is just fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, sometimes he has an opinionated comment, other times he has fact-based comments, and, and most of the time they're subjective or objective, or he mixes both of them. You'll see that he constantly gets thousands of views in his responses to some threads. Uh, some are created by others, but a lot of them uh, our responses to others, but some are created by him. Um, and he's just great. He really adds another dimension to the entire site. In fact, he's been around for so long, I can't imagine the site without him. And I'm so thankful that he received this award. He was really the first pick that even came to mind uh, when we started talking to Microsoft about giving out this award to people uh, and how we would do it. I'd also like to go ahead and show you uh, our other uh, sort of awardees here. We have USASMA. Now USASMA 
is also a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. There are, last time I checked, and this was uh, about a year or two ago, so I could be wrong, there are less than 5,000 people who have received the Microsoft Most Valuable Professional Award. I am very fortunate to have received the award twice in the Windows IT consumer um, area. Uh, so has one of our other administrators, Ross Cameron. Um, and Yusas Maha is a MVP as well. Now you'll notice something about him here. He's a Windows expert consumer as well. And he got the MCC award. Of course, you see Captain Jack thanked him. And uh, his real name is John. I'd like to add a personal dimension to these people and give them some time for goodness sakes. We talk for hours on end about task scheduler and you know proc manager and stuff. We should at least uh, you know uh, give something back to the people that have done so much for this website. Um, all right, Usasma has 833 posts. That averages about 0.81 posts per day. That's pretty good for an active member. It's probably around the same as mine, if not, if not more so, as far as the posts per day. Um, and his last activity was five hours ago. So he's always on the website. I mean, the guy's always on the website. You know, he's posting. He's a former army guy. He's from Connecticut, and let's go into why we call him a beast. And this is not a term that I created. It's a term that Ross Cameron, another Microsoft MVP, created for him, that he is a beast. In the blue screen of death area, we have a certain area where if your computer freezes and you get that blue screen of death, uh, you can send us the debug information and we have certain people who are able to substantially take a look at this, at this information and tell you exactly what software and what drivers are causing your computer to crash. Now, there's something about Usasmo where this guy is like a god at doing this. He is just unbelievable. He's the best person we've had on the BSOD team in ages and um, you know something he is like the only one right now besides one or two other people but he really is holding down the fort in that area as you can see he's had 45 likes received and four, he's only given out for four likes he's liked four posts but 45 of his posts have been liked and he doesn't even have that many but the ones that he does post are in extraordinarily detail, so much so that our last forum meeting was of a little bit of concern for him because we didn't, we felt like it was bad for him to have to do all of this on his own. But there's something special um, about John Corona Yusasma. There's something very special about him. He runs his own site. It has a driver database of every single system level driver in Microsoft Windows. And he uses this for his debugging for many dumb files. And he posts this extraordinarily accurate information that is just incredible. He gives you complete instructions on how to resolve these issues. And, you know, and I couldn't think of anyone more deserving of the award than Usasma and Saltgrass. And third, you know, sometimes they say you leave the best for last. We're going to go to our final recipient for January 2013, and that is Mike Hawthorne. Now, Mike Hawthorne has been on the site for a very long time, and He's received 81 likes. He's only given out five. That's not necessarily, uh, it doesn't really mean anything, but, you know, it's pretty good when 81 people like what you have to write. He was last on eight hours ago. Again, you know, these guys are on all the time. 1,547 posts. A lot of other users beat him in that area. Quantity versus quality, people. But 
if you look at it, he joined in 2009, okay? March 25th, 2009. Beware of the Ides of March, okay? I don't even know why I just said that, but... <laughs> and that was the 15th, not the 25th. 1.16 posts per day, ladies and gentlemen. And then, if you actually go and look at the stuff that he writes, it's just answer after answer after answer after answer. And, you know, he's just there and he's just doing it and he's just helping people and he asks for nothing in return. And that's what makes Mike, in our opinion, at Windows7Forms.com, Mike Hawthorne that is, worthy of receiving this award. Um, you know, uh, he's worthy of being considered a certified Microsoft community contributor at Windows 7 Forms. Now, I'd like to go further into uh, this award and some of the details that we've posted about it, because many people will be thinking, well, what, what is this award? How, how is this possible? I mean, who are you people? Windows7Forms.com is an open community. It was established by myself, and shortly thereafter, several other people joined. It started as a Windows Vista forum site for Windows Vista technical support. Eventually, it morphed into the Windows7Forms.com site you see today. And we have all contributed a lot uh, to get the site off the ground, to add extra features, I'm actually part of the View Bulletin, which is the form software that we use. I'm part of the developer credits for that software, special thanks credits as well. And we've just gone bananas adding features, you know, and adding opportunities for our members. And we're currently working on a way to even uh, recognize Microsoft most valuable professionals uh, in the profile as well. Uh, this is something that we have to do carefully because if someone loses the MVP award, of course, we are then uh, liable to make sure that we remove it on our end as well. Now, I'm going to show you uh, again in regards to this award why it was so cool that we got to work with Microsoft and especially Jason Tillman. Jason was great. Um, there were times where I wasn't able to send him the exact information the way he wanted it formatted it. And there's a couple reasons for this. Some of them were health reasons that had come up um, and also time management issues that I had been dealing with. And you know what? They still stuck with it. Jason Tillman still stuck with it. And they've started this program. It's been around for a long time and it's molded and changed. And I think it's changed a little bit for the better because they're looking at it as a way to give you a thumbs up, a public thumbs up, and not just sort of like throw free stuff at you, you know? So the Microsoft Community Contributor Badge seeks to recognize notable contributions to Microsoft online communities, such as TechNet, MSDN, and the Microsoft community. The value of these resources is greatly enhanced by participants who voluntarily contribute their time and energy to improve the online community experience for others. Each day around the world, Microsoft Community Contributor recipients contribute to Microsoft Online Technical Communities in a range of ways, including providing helpful answers, translating online resources into local languages, and serving as moderators. At Microsoft, they'd like to extend their thanks for their commitment to online technical communities. This recognition is reserved for participants who made notable contributions in Microsoft communities. And of course, Windows 7 forums. The value of these online resources is greatly enhanced by participants who voluntarily contribute their time and energy to improve the online community experience for others. And on behalf of Windows 7 forums, and Microsoft, I would like to sincerely thank these three individuals for making these achievements possible. I would also like to thank all those others who have contributed to the site who have not been recognized in this video, but hopefully someday soon will be. And uh, I'd like to stress that immensely because 
there are so many other people on our website that go out of their way uh, to do this type of thing. But we picked these three gentlemen because we saw uh, what they do on a regular basis. We're aware of them all the time. They're constantly a subject of discussion in our meetings because they're just awesome. And, you know, you just, you can't ignore their contributions. Like it wouldn't matter if, if they, they were on a different site, we'd probably like still be talking about them, you know? <laughs> One of them has a driver database of every driver every system file in Microsoft Windows. I mean, who does that? So it's just incredible. And, um, you know, it's something that I'm happy to be able to finally have brought to fruition with Microsoft. They did a lot of the legwork, I have to say, in getting this program off the ground again. And um, we're very happy um, for that 10% of the audience that likes to answer questions. That's something that we'd like to see a little bit more of. And I hope that this gives you an incentive to consider helping others. You know what, helping others, it takes a little bit of your time, but if you actually look into what it can do for that other person behind the computer screen, it's actually quite incredible. You have to remember that even on forum sites where people look like they're just you know, avatars and they just have a little picture here and you don't really know who they are. You know, one guy looks like a camel and you don't really know what he is. There's actually a human being behind there, a human being with emotion, a human being with feelings, a human being with intelligence, and a human being with an immense amount of uh, capability behind them. And you're one of those people. And that's something that I recognize strongly uh, it's something that uh, motivated me uh, to start creating these sites. It wasn't uh, anything monetarily based uh, as to why I created uh, these sites. And I want you to know that this is the case because this type of collaboration is something that we've looked for from Microsoft for a very long time. We've wanted to have this type of community collaboration with them in order um, to recognize our members in such a way uh, that we were able to. In the past, Microsoft had visited our site and seen people who qualified for the MVP award, but the community contributor badge and, and award system is, is something that is very unique and it complements, I believe, the MVP award very well. I don't think it will replace it in any way. I think you'll see that you're going to have more and more options from Microsoft uh, who are now actively going onto third-party communities. Remember, windows 7 is not a Microsoft-owned property or anything like that. But of course, we've always been open to working with them as well as other forum sites um, in order to uh, help improve the customer experience for, for Windows customers. After all, we are Windows customers ourselves. Uh, and many of us have clients and customers uh, outside of the internet uh, who rely on this technology on a daily basis. So thanks so much for watching this video. I really want to thank Saltgrass, Mike Hawthorne, Usasma, and Jason Tillman from Microsoft Corporation for making this possible, as well as everyone else that's been behind the scenes that's still been looking forward to this, even after the announcement has been you know, we announced it something like three or four months ago, and uh, it still went through. So I'd like to thank you all very much, and please uh, check this out because being a Microsoft Community Contributor, it does have its perks, and you'll see it right here. Uh, if you get your invitation code, you'll be able to get right on there, and uh, you'll see something that you wouldn't necessarily see before. So take care. This is Mike once again from Windows7Forms.com. You can contact me on the website from Skype uh, using uh, the private messaging system on the website. Registering on Windows7Forms.com and Windows8Forms.com uh, is the best medicine right now for contacting people. You can also contact us at our staff email, which is staff at Windows7Forms.com as well as our admin email for more important issues at admin at windows7forums.com. 
If you have any questions about this program, please do not hesitate to ask in public in our feedback forum or in that thread. Uh, please do not hesitate to contact us privately or to contact Microsoft Community Contributor, Global Administrator, Jason Tillman. Thanks a lot, gentlemen and ladies. Take care.